Legend has it that Kyle Gregg sold his soul to the devil. When he puts it on a vent, the sun shines. It just, nothing else happens. The sun always shines. It's unbelievable. So today is a 100 miler, the Murray Way Ultra, and the sun is shining. It's 21 degrees at the minute. I'm at Fintorn, heading along the Murray Coastal Trail to Garmouth, and then we'll cross the, the Spey Viaduct, turn right, go up the Speyside Way, all the way to Granton, and then back down the Dava Way to Forest. At which point, that'll be the end of the race, but I'll complete the distance between Forest and Fintorn and make it back to Rob's van. I haven't got a wide angle lens to fit it all in, so there you go. If you watched my last video of, of an Ultra, you'll have seen that I gave up after 60 kilometers, and that was only an 80 kilometer race. So how the hell am I gonna manage to do 160 today on a similarly hot day? Well, here's the answer. I've got an e-bike. Yeah, but an e-bike can't do 100 miles off-road. I hear you cry. Quite right. I've deposited a spare battery halfway around the route and hopefully that will get me around. But I'm not sure if I will make it around or not. So come along for the adventure and we'll see if I make it or not. Also, on this bike, we have a new addition, which is a spider or aero spider rack and that's for putting the signs and stuff on and I've got my pod thing for putting flags in hopefully that's enough and I don't need any extra stuff carrying a camel back today I don't normally carry a camel back because it makes my back sweaty but I uh, need to carry water today and uh, that's got a three litre bladder in you all know her about by now she's having a last minute Garmin faff I'm just trying to load the course you're trying to load the course as you're setting off when you've only had weeks to sort it out. Eh? Oh no no, it's it's there. Oh, you just need to be able to see to sort it out. Yeah. <laughs> How many sets of glasses you got on all? Two. <laughs> well, I still don't know where any of the checkpoints are. <laughs> but anyway, you like could you? Doesn't matter because we're not going to see them for ages, and you know where the latter ones are. Yeah, that's all that matters. Alrighty, you ready to go? Ready to go, yes sir. I've got to have my hug before you go. I sent Sean. Oh. Oh. Don't you go overdoing it. Oh Sean, no, you take it easy. Yes, right. I shall definitely. Oh. Ready for the day? Shall. What have you you? Are you going the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers now! Okay, I'm pumping this down to eco mode. Hopefully that'll give me enough juice to get the 72 kilometers to my first stop. Okay then, so as we cross the Martian looking landscape that is the Findorn hinterland, which is just like Coral Beach. Coral beach, pebbles and dunes with uh, a good bit of heather and gorse thrown in for good measure. I'll tell you about the race. It's actually two races. There's one for individuals who set off at half past five in the morning and then there's one for Relay teams who set off from Forest at 11 a.m. Now I'm taking down the course marking, so obviously there's pointless me starting first thing in the morning. So I'm sweeping up behind the uh, the relay runners. Now this race is different to the other ultras in that we have a tracker, so I can see where all the runners are, which is infinitely helpful. But they haven't given me a tracker so nobody can see where I am. So that's maybe something to think about in the future, eh? But this bit is absolutely beautiful, all of it.
Yeah. Course markers already proved to be more sympathetic to me than last time. I'm not stopping quite as often and they're in more sensible places. Hopefully that continues all the way around. <laughs> anyway, enough of my whinging. It's not about me, it's about the awesome athletes that are running this today. And they are awesome. When I last checked there was a guy up past Ben Egan already. That's just mental. And a big shout out to my pal in rock and metal, Bob Barron, who goes to a lot of the gigs that I go to. He's running this today. I think he's number two. Good luck, Bob. Hope you nail it. Right, he's a, they're all stupidly fit people to even attempt it. But uh, he does really quite well in these things. I don't think he wins any, but he's always there. Uh, threatening. Look at this, purple heather, blue skies, blue sea, beautiful beach. I'd probably be out doing something like this anyway, on such a beautiful day. Now I've got to get a caveat out here before I say the next bit. And that Kyle and Debbie do not employ me. I receive nothing for doing this race or uh, anything at all. I don't even get free entries into races because that's not my thing. They don't employ me to make the videos. It's just me volunteering to do this. So my opinions are my own and no way reflect the views of Murray Way Ultras. However, they come through Fintone. Now Fintone has a foundation of supposedly spiritual people at one with Zen and happy but I have honestly never met such a miserable bunch of people in my life you come along here what a beautiful day you say hello good morning and all you get is blank stares as if you've just stood in a turd and wafted it in the right direction or something there's no one else like it I've said it before in a previous video I think on the on the cycle path between Forest and and Fintorn which goes past the foundation itself there's no one else in the world like it they're just snotty I don't know why they should be the happiest people in the world all this spiritualism it's not working they need to reflect a bit deeper I think been down here before as well when uh, a van just opened up and a heap of them all went running out into the sea naked and started writhing in the seaweed. It was bizarre. Anyway, enough about the Foundation people and the Fintorn people. I'm sure they're lovely if you know them. Uh, how you get to know them when they just scowl at you, who knows. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm quite intimidated looking I suppose. I'm a big guy with some tats, but honestly, if I'm smiling and saying good morning to you, I'm not attacking you, am I? <laughs> anyway, rant over. Too nice to be grumpy. So that's Fintorn over yonder. This is Burkhead Bay, and that's Burkhead way over in the distance. That's the next town. And we're just about to go through Rose Isle Forest. So we've got Martin and Anita, two uh, well-known fat bikers from uh, Burkhead. Burkhead you live, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And uh, uh, one more fatty because he keeps breaking corners. Got another one coming. <laughs> Have you? Apparently, even though, even though they went south, there's another one coming. Is there? Uh, you're getting the last of the stock, are you? I don't know if Bob Conover brought it back, haven't he? Ah, okay. So what happens when you uh, use all the stock up with your big fat arse? <laughs> Just had a look at the Burger Van in Rose Isle car park 
and they weren't doing a breakfast menu. They won't do you a bacon roll at this time of day. You've got to have a burger for 15 quid, so I've given that a miss. Hopefully Harbour Lights or somewhere in Lossie will give me some to eat. Just had a few chocolate peanut M&Ms to keep me going. This bit gets a bit sandy. Hey up. So you would think on an e-bike these steps will be easier. Well this one's so heavy at the front, I don't know if I'll be able to kick it up. Ah nay bother. Nay bother. These steps won't be easy at all. Oh no! This wee puddle here is obviously a watering hole for all the swallows. There we go. And beauties. In you get. So a boatyard in Hopeman does bacon rolls. And a beautiful setting. Getting the huts in the video, because if you don't get the huts in the video, did you even hope them? So much easier on an e-bike. Well, most of it is. The next bit coming won't be. Guess I'll have to push it up. If you've run this race before, or even just walked this coastal path before, you'll know coming out of Hopeman towards Lossy Mouth on the coastal path uh, by the golf course is uh, some nasty steps that you have to carry your bike up. Now this e-bike has a push assist which I just I tried for the first time and uh, it's okay, it's not ideal, better than nothing though. Congratulations
Sure. Hey. Oh. 70 miles to do. He's only had one pint. Well done, Devo. See you soon. See you next year. <laughs> so I was like passing the uh, steamboat and there was uh, an RAF reunion going on. Uh, two of eight squadron. Bunch of bastards. Yeah, not like them shitty 12 squadron oh. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Met this man, he's a legend. Great to see him. <laughs> yeah, so long time ago when uh, it was just the Space Side Way Ultra Marathon, Sarah and Chris, I'm sorry I've forgotten your name. And Rob and Anne. And they all used to run the Space Side Way Ultra Marathon. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Good one. So this is a hot Saturday afternoon in June and you don't have to go very far at all to be on your own on a lovely beach. It's one of the things I really love about living up here. Even the West Beach past the lighthouse, once you get past the Silver Sands Caravan Park, there's just no one there. Must be an indication of the inherent laziness of people they just won't go further than two meters from the car hey look at this look at this hello how you doing have you seen any runners good good You can see that, but there's a few not too far ahead, so I'll be seeing them shortly. Hi, y'all. I'm okay. Prob I was going to say I'm hot and sweaty, but probably less so than you. Yes, this, this is the five miles of death. I can tell you're enjoying it. Eh? Bump up my power for this. Oh, my goodness. I think it's kind of cruel at the end of the five miles of death to put you over this old right, church bray or school bray between Kingston and Garmouth. Even when I'm cycling this normally I, I hate it so I'd hate to be running it. And to make it worse there's a real kick up at the end. So the lovely ladies from Ellen have sorted me out with uh, Cake. Cake. Cake and water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She got a nice lolly last year. She did. Not got any of them. Did she? Did she get a cup of tea though? No. Well, I've got a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> I got a cup of tea, Roberta. <laughs> Made up for my earlier mints. So how's the bike doing? We're on 60% after 42.65 kilometers. So we're looking at doing 71. I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. How am I doing? 
feeling pretty good now because it's cooled down quite a lot and I've had cake and a cup of tea from those ladies from Ellen. Thank you ladies. We appear to have had some erosion and the path has been eaten by this river. It does this every year, it's amazing. It's like a hose pipe with too much pressure it just thrashes around. Sorry farmer, but your field's getting a bit used. That's oh, official anyway. Spade's really high just now. And powerful. You feel the power of it just like a long heat. Oh god. If you have a pedal strike, go left. Don't go right. Oh, on you go. I'm sweeping for you. <laughs> As I. Oh God, you make me <laughs> You're lucky I've forgotten my speaker today, so I'm not blasting you with heavy metal. <laughs> I think you are faster than the last ones, though. You must be the fit number know. ones in the team, are you? I'm not. No. Got a bad leg. <sighs> like run. Mm. March. How are you finding it? Okay. This is my first leg, so... Oh, okay. I'll tell you. In another few months. You'll be right. Sausage supper, curry sauce, can of coke, Fockaber Square. I'll get this doing me and I'll chase the ladies up Ben Hagen. Now, it had been my intention to have a chippy at Abalawa, but I didn't think I'd make that in time, so I went for it in Fockaber's. But in hindsight, that wasn't a great idea because there's a massive hill coming out of Fockaber's. And I've still got Ben Egan proper to go. I'll probably end up losing that smoky sausage supper on the on the slope up. God, that was hard work. Even on an e-bike. Woo! Well, we've just gone past Delford Beat. That's a railway bridge. This is Boto Brig. The road bridge. And this is the Speyside Way. I don't think my motor's going to help getting up there, do you? Just about to go past the rifle range and up the single most horrible, steep, rocky, rooty, muddy climb of the day up to the uh, fire road at the top of Ben Egan. Now, in my head, I was going to try and climb this. I was going to put my boost up to full and see if I can get up it. But I'm so knackered just getting here. I've forgotten how steep just getting here was. So I doubt that's going to happen. See how I feel in a few minutes. There's some horrendous slop back there and disgusting mud. That I'd have never got through if I was just on my Krampus. I managed to pile through it, albeit wheel spinning quite a bit. But I still haven't dabbed. And we're just about to start the real hard bit. So I might bang this boost up and give it a go. Purely for your entertainment to watch me fail. I would just whack it max and give it loudy, but I'm trying to save battery. It's saying 40%, but it's probably somewhere closer to 30 now. Or maybe even just 20. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, get out of the ditch, get out of the ditch. Whoa, whoa, still no dab.
You runners will be watching this thinking, what is she? What is she going on about? That is easy. <laughs> I'm the ultra athlete. Never have been. I was a second row forward at rugby. Weigh about 18 stone now. That's bikes. Doing some heavy lifting. This is about as far as got in the campus, this next slope here where it kicks up. Let's see how I get on. Okay, and granny. Down to 20% though. Hope I'll make a blower. Right, excuse me hanging at my ass, but I think this is as high as we go in Ben Egan. Worth it for the views. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see the sea there. And you can see over Morven and that on the Sutherland. I'll zoom you into that. There you go. I think that's a Papa Morven that way. I think it's all downhill for here. Double hour anyway. I hope it is. <laughs> I really hope it is. So nice to be coming down this hill for a change. Always seem to come up it and it's a bastard. Whoa, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Gav Belton, who you might meet in a minute, is one for ploughing at the gates. Mind you, so am I. So this is a uh, Fiddickside Park in Craig Ellachie and this is where the aid station was but they left me some Jaffa cakes so I'm coughing them down much appreciated, cheers That's 75 columns, just about, and it's been on orange. I don't know what that means, I think it means 10%. Don't know, but Gav lives at the top of the hill. I'm just going to go up there and change my battery because I left it at his house. So I hope I make it because it's at the top of the hill. So this is Gav's dog Ruby, and Ruby has decided to lick my bike clean for me. She's not quite right. Hey, you? You're not quite right. So this is Gav off of gigs and festivals. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe Gav is here. I am here. I'm not gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's been very kind. Made me a nice cup of tea. Okay, back on the Speyside way. Would you leave that? Would you believe that battery died right at Gav's house? Just as I pulled up to his driveway, it cut out drive. Unbelievable. That dead. Seventy-six kilometres and 820 me metres of climbing which ain't too shabby Ooh. look ahead, look ahead look ahead, look ahead Phew. white handlebars, not good, making me nervous just ran into a bat <laughs> didn't bite me Hit me in the left hand side of my head, hit my ear, left ear. <laughs> right, we're two days after the solstice, so we're not getting the longest day, but uh, we're only seven seconds off the length of day that we did have on the solstice. So it's nearly like that. Hopefully, we'll get some nice midnight sun kind of, or midnight sunset in a really Tandu station
If you watched the last time I did this 100 mile of support, I took the gated section from Craig and Moore to Cromdale and it was absolutely horrendous. It's just not built for bikes. So that's on the other side of the river and those hills over there and I'm on the back road from Craig and Moore to Granton. 12 miles. There's no way I'm ever doing that gate section again. So my ladies are on their own just now. I think there might be someone going to uh, do um, sweeper on foot behind them. But that ain't me. 12, 12 miles is going to take me about an hour. My legs are just pump now. But when I get there I'm going to have a cap. And then I shall rejoin the, the course once everyone's passed through. So they can take their jolly well time so I get a longer sleep. Alrighty, I was so tired last night when I got here in the Granton. I just sat on my bed and got in it and went to sleep. There was a checkpoint here. Everyone's through now. They've been gone about half an hour, 45 minutes. So now I'm going to go and catch them up on the dive away. I managed to uh, charge up my bike with a power box, blue A. EB55 power box and that's charged it to max capacity again so hopefully I'll be able to turn the turbo up and blast along here a bit faster rather than ecoing it the whole way because my legs are still pretty short not gonna lie the cycling's tough enough all 160 kilometers of it but the worst part about this job is just a constant getting on and off the bike. Just tires you out. Repetitive. Ah. Not whinging. Not whinging. Even though it might sound like it. It's a bit Jurassic Park. You probably can't see them, but I've got a couple of ladies ahead now. Bit of a boo-boo. I told my ladies to carry on straight along the railway track. There's a house along here, and uh, I think they've blocked access along the railway track now, and you have to do a diversion. Cyclists have to go all the way down onto the road. So I'm hoping they'll forgive me if they've had to double back and, and then uh, take the other route. Oh, and here's Rob and the runners, so they're okay. But will they be talking to me? Yeah, Roberta's just turned up. Bless her, she's come back to check on me. <clears throat> she'll have put in, I don't know, she'll be getting on for 150 miles, I'd imagine, at the end of this. Did I get that wrong? A little bit. A little bit. Have, have you forgiven me? Yeah. Okay, we quickly sorted it out. Cool. Yeah. Just, just a smidge, apparently. Uh, they were just, you know, there's the little rickety wee bridge which is really narrow. They were uh, just the far side of that. Uh, they weren't doing too bad. Yeah, whatever. Exit stays right. Looks quite midgy today, and I'll fancy a chalky bar, so I'm going to go into this halfway house. And check out the ghosties. Yeah, check out the ghosties. Yeah. Oh, this is Jess, and I've never seen Jess before. I'm delighted that Rob showed me where Jess is now. Just over there, there's an old ruined croft, and that old lady that stayed in that croft used to send her dog Jess out to get the mail because the, the uh, train would just throw the mail here and the dog would run out and get it. Bit of a legend. So, glad to have found Jess. Oh. 
Here's the other shift. So we're in the Ed and Kelly Hall at Dunfail Hall. That's Claire who's going to join us for the Speyside Ultra Marathon in August, aren't you? Hopefully. Uh, this is the Ellen ladies. They've all finished now. The last leg is going in. <laughs> is it not the swap over, is it? Yeah, just uh, at Sun, yeah, Sunker. 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 Well done ladies, get fired into the Prosecco. Proper athletes, eh? Yeah. Carb replacement. Me, yeah. Is it true that you've actually sold your soul to the devil? And that's why you get great weather every time you uh, put an event on. Absolutely. You know what somebody said, Pete? They said, uh, if you're ever going to get married, choose a, a date when the Money Away Ultra Series is on. So That's absolutely true. It's, true, it's isn't it? uncanny. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I think about last weekend. Last weekend would have been... It's been shy all <laughs> year and then you put on two events and they're both roasting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, fingers crossed for the space I'd win and the DAF I'd win, but I think it's a, a you probably you probably agree with this. hundred percent success rate with the weather each time. Other than it can be too hot. You know, so. Yes, yeah, well, it was too hot last time yeah. for me, you know. Bye. But, yeah. Thanks again, Kyle. Thank Still you. A great Thanks. event. Pete Pete sweeper Pete, like, you know what we would we do without you? Come on, let's 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 you. Let's Cheers ladies. Very posh. Glasses. I know. Hey, up. Miserable as 